What's up guys, welcome back to Ubad's lab and today we're going to be making a disinfectant spray that's super easy to make at home and great for killing viruses and bacteria. So the most important ingredient that's going to be going into our uh, disinfectant spray is actually hydrogen peroxide since it's going to be killing the virus and bacteria. So the recommended concentration of hydrogen peroxide in a disinfectant spray is around 0.5%. So we have to dilute our hydrogen peroxide to get to that concentration. And we have to figure out how much water should we add to our hydrogen peroxide to get to that exact concentration. So to do that, we can use an equation. Concentration 1 times volume 1 is equal to concentration 2 times volume 2. And the concentration of hydrogen peroxide that we're going to be starting with is 30%. And this also works with 3% hydrogen peroxide, which is what most people are going to have since it's that, uh, that's what's used to clean cuts. And then times volume 1 is equal to concentration 2. And the concentration that we're trying to get is 0.5% times volume 2. And the value that you plug in here is just going to depend on how much of the solution you want. I want to make around 200 milliliters of the solution. So that's what I'm going to plug in. And we're going to solve for the first volume of hydrogen peroxide. So we can just divide by 30% on both sides. And we find out that the volume of hydrogen peroxide that we need is 3 milliliters. And to find out how much water, we can just do 200 milliliters, 200 milliliters of the total solution minus the 3 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide to get 197 milliliters of the water. So to get the concentration of 0.5% hydrogen peroxide, we just add 3 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide and 197 milliliters of water. So as usual, I recommend wearing gloves and protective eyewear while making this disinfectant spray especially for handling a higher concentration of hydrogen peroxide, which can burn your skin. So the equipment that you're going to be needing for this experiment includes 197 milliliters of water. I would recommend distilled water since it's going to be way more pure, but tap water also works. 3 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide, and this is if it's 30% hydrogen peroxide. If you're using 3% hydrogen peroxide, then I would believe it'd be 30 milliliters hydrogen peroxide and 107 milliliters of water. And then some soap as well. This can be any type of soap, hand soap, dishwashing soap, uh, really anything would work. All right, so I've got all my equipment out and I'm gonna start off by adding 197 milliliters of distilled water to my Erlenmeyer flask. Alright, so just around 200 milliliters in my Erlenmeyer flask. So now I have my 30% hydrogen peroxide over here. It's covered in aluminum foil right now because it uh, decomposes a bit faster when exposed to light. So I just want to pre uh, prevent that a little. So I'm just going to um, pour some of this out into my small beaker. All right, I think just a little more. That should be enough. And then I, I'm just gonna pipette it around three milliliters into my Erlenmeyer flask. And there's actually markings on my pipette so I can see just around three milliliters. All right, it's about enough. And add this to the water. 
and I have a glass stir rod and I'm just going to mix this a little so now this is hydrogen peroxide at a concentration around 0.5 percent just make sure this is closed all right and now I'm going to add some soap to this mixture and that should be enough and I'm just going to mix this alright and this is our disinfectant spray mixture I have a spray bottle over here and I'm just going to add it to the spray bottle All right, and let me close this up, and we should have our finished product, a disinfectant spray made at home. So this spray is perfect for cleaning surfaces like uh, doorknobs and keyboards, and it'll definitely help prevent the uh, spread of viruses by cleaning these commonly touched surfaces. But I want to see how it'll do against a stain. So I have this manganese dioxide stain on my uh, table that's been here for a while now and it's pretty hard to get out and I want to see if this hydrogen peroxide solution will help get it out. It's uh, starting to fade out a little. It's not completely going away, but it definitely helped. You can see we got some of the manganese dioxide onto the uh, paper towel. It's basically gone. So hydrogen peroxide is actually great for getting rid of um, stains, def especially in glassware and stuff. So I thought it'd do well against this manganese dioxide stain. All right, it works pretty well. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. And feel free to ask any questions in the comment section. And stay tuned for my next video, which is gonna be kind of crazy because I'm gonna be torturing myself by balancing 100 chemical equations in one take. So we'll see how that goes.